Hello, this is Raymond Fu from EMS Now. I'm coming to you from, uh, I'm talking to you from uh, Apex 2012 in San Diego. As you can hear, this is the end of day two, so there is some background noise. So I hope you can live with it. <laughs> and, uh, today my guest is uh, Bill Bader. He's the CEO of the International Electronics Manufacturing Initiative, uh, or iNavy. Welcome, Bill. Thank you, Raymond. Uh, Bill, um, Let's talk about some of the projects because uh, iNAMI is well known for getting companies together to work yeah. on certain initiatives. Yeah. So uh, let's talk about three of these uh, particular initiatives. Okay. Uh, medical electronics, okay. counterfeit components and environment. Let's start with medical. Okay, well we've put a lot of uh, effort and resources into growing the collaborative R&D in medical in the last 18 months. And as of two weeks ago, we launched three new projects in medical, very well led with chair and co-chair globally from around the world in a variety of areas, but they all come back to reliability. Right. One of them has to do with coming up with standardized component specifications for components and factories that support medical. One is reliability methodology for implantable products. And the third one has to do with reliability and test approach for portable electronics. Right. So we got three very good projects, 10 to 12 teams participating. We have three additional initiatives in medical that are in the definition phase today. So the net of it all is our, our collaboration and our effective R&D project work there has grown dramatically in the past year. Right. And of course, counterfeit components is a very big issue in the industry right now. So uh, yes. what, what are the particular initiatives that iNAMI is working on? Yeah, we have a project that just started up when we have 13 initial participants up and down the supply chain around the world. And it fundamentally focused in on doing risk analysis of component supply chains and component types. And once the risk analysis is done, developing risk mitigation right. techniques and methodologies to alleviate the pain and the, and the level of counterfeiting that is experienced by the companies in the supply chain. Obviously a very, very big problem. It's been getting a lot more press lately, but it's been a big problem for a good long time. Right. And uh, of course, many soda based companies are rolling out uh, after lead free. Now they are rolling out halogen and halide free products. Yeah. So t tell us a little bit about your environmental projects. Well, environmental project is one of the strengths of iNEMI for a long time. Started back in lead free. And actually this quarter we completed phase two of the halogen, halogenated flame retardant free alternative evaluation, both mechanical and electrical. So those teams have, are rolling out their results at Apex. And we will move into the next phase. But what they fundamentally have done is uh, work with laminate suppliers. Many of our members are laminate suppliers. Uh, many of them are Asian laminate suppliers right. for that matter. And have worked with them to develop materials that are acceptable for high performance computer products of the next five years. And to, to deliver to them outgoing test procedures and methodologies and uh, they've all agreed to hold up to that. As a result of that, the, uh, the materials market segment there has grown from 4% to 13% in the last two years. So it looks like it's set up to support the volume ramp of these new laminate materials. And of course, iNAMI works on a technology roadmap yeah. every year. And uh, I know it's still early days yet, uh, but how is the progress going for the 2013 technology roadmap? Well, you know, the one, one of the, the long-term capabilities of iNEMI has been road mapping, and that is a process that we have down. We know how to do road mapping, and uh, uh, we, we deliver it every two years, like clockwork, looking at the technology needs across the industry for the next 10 years, and we're right on schedule. Uh, in fact, Apex is a very important uh, me meeting site for us, as Tomorrow and the next day we'll get updates on technical working groups and the product emulators and you know it's a it, it, but again we got this process down it'll be done by the year end for members like it always is right and, and of course uh, iNAMI has a progress from being just NAMI which is the national yes. electronics manufacturing yes. so there's an I in front of it now so uh, let's talk about some of the international initiatives that you have done well, particularly in China maybe well well. Let me start with the international piece. Uh, in two, 2007, 
uh, we converted to the international part of uh, NEMI. Yeah. And since that time, um, actually our membership has grown to be about 100 companies worldwide, of which 50% are outside the U.S. with their corporate headquarters. Right. And from that 50%, 60% of that is in Asia. So yeah. it's become a very big part of INEMI. And the membership in Asia is critical to our success. I mean, it's fundamental. A lot of the, the raw materials come from Asia. Much of the high volume manufacturing infrastructure is in Asia, et cetera. Now, we also have projects that are, man that are started in Asia and are managed by my uh, INME Asia manager, Hallie Fu. Um, we have one uh, on advanced silicon underfill materials. Um, you know, very good program for uh, some of the supply base in Asia as well as uh, the packaging firms in Asia. Right. And uh, we have one on creep corrosion that is now in phase three. That's an area where insufficient science has been done and this team has done great work and they are in the process of establishing an accepted test methodology for um, stimulating and measuring creep corrosion. And INME is known for filling in uh, gaps in technology. Yeah. So can you talk a little yeah. bit about those gaps and stuff? Well, like yeah, the, 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 the real value, I believe, of the roadmap is the gap analysis that comes from it. You, know, you take all of these attributes, whether they're geometric densities, placement densities, speeds, whatever they might be, and you look at them and say, you know, where is the technology going to stop without some significant R&D work being done. Right. That gap analysis work is fundamental to INEMI's process and methodology. And from that, we identify the critical priorities and then we get people together up and down the supply chain from around the world and sort out which are the best collaborative opportunities. Issues that companies are willing to work together on. Uh, and share information, share learning, share, share recipes, share knowledge. So, um, you know, that's basically how it comes about. Roadmap leads to gap analysis, leads to projects. Right. right. Well, Bill, thank you for sharing the activities of INAMI with us and for talking through the noise. <laughs> Raymond, I'm always happy to talk to EMS now and you. Right. Thank you very much. Good luck for the rest of the show ahead tomorrow. All right, thank yeah. you.